Hey guys and welcome back. In this video we are going to see how to install Node.js and NPM on Mac. I'll just give a brief idea about Node.js. Node.js is a very popular backend JavaScript runtime which is used for creating web servers. The environment supports server side scripting and it produces very dynamic content for web pages before they are actually served to the user and this npm is a default package manager for node.js and that's why npm is installed alongside node.js and in this video we are going to see how to install node.js using three different ways how to update them and also how to delete node.js and npm from your mac os pc now the first way is by using web browser this is not a recommended step but i'll just show so for that just open your web browser and then search for node.js then you have to open the first link which is from node.js.org all right now on this page you can see the web page has identified that i am having a mac os and 64 bit computer so 18.12.1 is the LTS version. LTS stands for the long term support version. And then the current version or the latest version is the 19.1.0 which will pack all the latest features which are available for Node.js. Now let's say we will download the LTS version. So just click on other downloads. And from this page we can download the LTS version for different operating systems. And for the Mac OS, we have this 64 bit oblique ARM64, which means this package can be installed on the M1, M2 chip as well as the Intel based processors. So just click on the link and then allow it. The download is going to start. Now, once the download is finished, you can open the package installer and the installation will begin. You can just click on continue and then agree to the terms and conditions. And then finally, you will have the button to install the Node.js, but I'll not suggest you to install it through package installer. So I'll just leave it up to you. If you want to install it, you can just click on install and the installation will be finished. And then you can start using the Node.js also. Now, the other way to install Node.js is by using Homebrew Package Manager. Now, to open it, just look for brew.sh. Now on the home page, we just have to copy this script. This is the script that we need to copy in order to install brew on our Mac OS. Then just open your terminal. If you don't know how to do it, just click on launch pad and then look for terminal and then open it up. And the font size is very small in terminal, so I'll just increase the font first under settings, then profiles, and then change. All right, and from here, I'll just increase the font size first. All right, now I have to restart the terminal. All right. Now we have to paste the script that we have copied earlier. So I'll just paste it and hit enter. Then you'll have to enter your password. All right. Now this script is going to install these packages. And then these new directories will be created. And also the Xcode command line tools will be installed. Apparently, Brew uses some of the packages or some of the features of the Xcode command line tools. So it's going to be installed side by side. So after that, just hit enter or return key and the installation is going to begin. It's going to download the packages and then install. It's a very time consuming process. Now, once the installation of command line tools for Xcode is over. The script is going to start downloading and installing Homebrew. All right, nothing to do here also. All right, now once the Homebrew package manager is installed, the next thing that we need to do is to install Node.js. 
to install Node.js, we just have to simply write brew space install space node. And if you hit enter, it's going to install the latest version that is the current version that is 19.1.0. And if you want to install any other version, then you can write node at and then you can mention the version. Like if I write node at 18, then it's going to install the LTS version. So if you write any version here, so it's going to install the LTS edition of that version. Let's just install the latest version. So I'll just write brew space install space node. All right, then the node 19 is going to be downloaded and installed on your computer. Now once the installation is over, just write node space hyphen V. And the system is going to return the version of node that is installed on your computer. And the version is 19.1.0, which is the latest version. And you can also check the version of npm. So just write npm space hyphen v and the version of npm is 8.19.3. All right. Now, if you want to install multiple versions of node using brew, then I will highly suggest you to uninstall the other versions to avoid conflicts. So you should install only one version using brew. And also, if you try to install the LTS version, using brew then you will have to add the binary to your path which means you will have to set the path variable but for the latest version we don't have to do that so anyways then after that if you want to upgrade your node to a latest version if there is another latest version available then you can just write brew space upgrade space node and if there is no version available which is newer to your version then you will get a message like this node 19.1.0 is already installed and in case there is a version which is a newer version that can be downloaded and installed then brew is going to install that latest version for you and anyways i'm going to make a new video on how to update and upgrade node.js and npm on mac os and uh, after that if you want to uninstall node you can just use brew space uninstall space node this is going to uninstall the node js that you have downloaded and installed using brew now if you try to run node hyphen v the system will not return the version of node because it is uninstalled so if you are just a new user and you want to work with node.js then you don't have to move to the next part of the video you don't have to install the n which is actually a node version manager you don't have to install that you can just install the latest version of node using brew and you can just start using it you don't have to go any further but if you are a professional user or you are an advanced user and you want to work with different versions of node then you can keep watching the video till the end and now I'm going to install the N, which is also a Node.js version manager. So let me just clear this out first. And now I will install N using brew. So just type brew space install space N. And I'll just give a brief idea about N also. N is supported on Mac OS and Linux only. If you want to run it on Windows, then you can do that on Windows subsystem for Linux. And it is written as a bash script. And the installation is pretty simple. You can just write brew space install space n. Let's say you have not uninstalled the node.js, then you can use npm to install n. You can just write npm space install space hyphen g space n and it's going to install n for you. Anyways, we have installed n using brew. Now, if you just type n and hit enter, then it's going to show most of the commands that are available using n. As well as it will show any version of Node.js installed on your computer. If there is no Node.js installed on your computer, then you will get error like this. No downloaded versions yet. So let's see how to install Node.js using n. So to install any version of Node.js, you just have to write n and then space. And then you can write the version that you want to install. Like you can write 10.16.0 or you can write LTS which is the short for long term support version or you can write n space current that is the latest version of node.js so let's try to install LTS 
and uh, if you get error like this error sudo required or change ownership or define end prefix in such case we don't have to use sudo actually we try to avoid sudo and to fix this problem we can change the ownership so that n gets the permission to work with the directory anyways let me just clear this out now to give the necessary permission to n we can change the ownership and to change the ownership we have to run a command so i'll just type it you can type along with me and i will also keep this command in the description of the video so that you can directly copy and paste it so just type sudo space make directory that is mkdir space hyphen p space forward slash user usr forward slash local forward slash n space ampersand ampersand space sudo space change ownership chown space hyphen r r is capital then space dollar then within bracket who am i then again space forward slash user usr forward slash local and then forward slash n now this is the directory which n is going to access so just run it it might ask for your password and after that let's run the same command again that is let's try to install the lts version of node so n space lts and this time you'll observe that the installation was successful and the latest lts version is 18.12.1 and it has been installed all right now if you write n and hit enter it will show all the versions which are installed on your computer and then you can use your arrow key to choose any one of them but since till now we have installed only one version that is 18.12.1 that is why only one version is visible here anyways just hit enter and uh, let's install one more version of node so i'll try to install the latest version of node so just type n space latest all right now once the installation is over type n and hit enter now this time we have two versions of node available from which we can choose and uh, let's choose the latest version 19.1.0 and hit enter and n is going to reinstall the latest version for you let me restart the terminal all right now if you type node space hyphen v then you can see 19.1.0 is the active version right now let's write n and hit enter and let's choose the lts version this time and then type node space hyphen v and now the active version is 18.12.1 so using n it's very easy to work with the different versions of node.js but as i explained it earlier it's only for the professional user if you are going to use the different versions of node.js only then you can use n otherwise you can just install node.js using brew package manager and you are good to go and then there are various other commands for n like you can type n space ls and it's going to list all the node.js versions that are installed on your computer now this is not interactive it will just give you a list you cannot choose any version from here it will just give you the list of the installed versions and if you type n space ls hyphen remote then it's going to show all the versions of node.js which are available remotely from the server all right it's going to display only 20 and if you want to see all the versions then you will have to add this flag n space ls hyphen remote space hyphen hyphen all all right then it will display all the versions of node till date if you want to see the lts version then you can just add lts here All right and also adding hyphen hyphen all flag will not change anything because the latest lts version is 18.12.1 which is only one version so all flag is not required anyways same goes for the latest version or the current version there's only one current version so hyphen hyphen all will not make any difference
all right finally if you want to remove node.js from your computer using n then you can just type n space rm space then the version of node that you want to uninstall so since we have two versions 18.12.1 so let's uninstall the lts version and then after that if you run the command n space ls once again then you will see that only one version of node is available on the computer now all right now if you want to uninstall n also you can just type n space uninstall it's going to uninstall the node npm as well as n from your computer so you can just type y and hit enter and everything will be uninstalled so that's all for this video i hope you were able to learn how to install update and uninstall node.js from your computer using n which is a node.js version manager so don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel i'm going to see you in the next video till then take care and thanks for watching